Well, hello, friends. It's Rick Bray with the Plick Team at Broomtown Gaboses, and gosh, golly, gee willikers, am I ever excited that I got an email from one of our teachers today. They said, hey, it's the first day I noticed that uh, Pear Deck has the option of adding a co-teacher on the dashboard, and I said, what? Yes, I'm looking at all the articles today. December 8th is when they're published. It's there. You can have multiple teachers running a presentation simultaneously. So excited. Let's see how it works. Now, this could be a little weird because on uh, the screen you're looking at, I have a couple different things happening uh, behind the scenes, but I also have Yep, there it is, uh, another Chromebook that is running the teacher dashboard, but let's get rid of that for now. Instead, let's focus on this screen. This is just like normal, right? I started my session and uh, the teacher dashboard pops up right here for me, just like it normally does. Now, uh, it'll say like, hey, do you wanna add a teacher? Or you can click the three little dots right here on your teacher dashboard and say, invite co-teacher. And when I do that, it gives me a, uh, a link that will expire in one week, but at, at the, I just copy this and get it to my co-teacher, right? Now, when I did that, I happened to email it. Uh, I even went cross-domain with this, meaning I went to see, Ken, uh, in my case, my BOCES teacher is the host, as you can see up here. Yep, it tells you who's in with you. That's so cool. And I sent it over to my main annual account as a co-teacher. And boop, there's that screen. So let me go over here and go back to like if this was the projection side of my classroom. From my ME account over here, I can move the presentation forward. I can move the presentation backwards. I can keep doing whatever I wanna do here and life is good. On my BT BOCES account, I can do the same thing. I can run the presentation forward. I can move it backwards. Life is good. Now, here's what I think is kinda neat. When I get to one of these questions, right? And again, I'm in on the teacher dashboard and this is, uh, it appears to be a text question you can view it different ways, right? I can say a list layout, but from the, the main end well side over on the, the yellow part of the screen, I can say grid layout and watch, it'll change them both. Boop, see, it changed it over on the Windsor side too. One side can change them back and forth. So it is a all or nothing. It's not like you can have different setups there, but it totally works. And then I thought to myself, well, can I have it in yet another account? And yes, you can. Here is my Windsor domain account also running the slide deck, able to see what's happening on the teacher dashboard. This is so exciting, friends. So how can we get there? Well, one thing I wonder about is back here, if you lose the dashboard, uh, you can open the dashboard in a new window, right? Boop, that pops it right here. And once it's open, it's gonna probably take a little bit because I have it going and my computer is very stressed out right now. But this is where I could invite that co-teacher. Now, what's the easiest way to get this link out to my teachers? Couple different ways. I could certainly email it to them. If you're using something like Slack or Microsoft Teams, you could team message it to them. Uh, alternatively, you could put this link as a uh, unpublished link within your Schoology course or your Seesaw or wherever you're putting that information for your other co-admins to see. Because again, if it's unpublished, your admins can see it and co-admins can see it, but your uh, students can't. So there you go, huge news from Pear Deck. You can now have co-teachers on the teacher dashboard for a session. I am so excited, I can barely talk. Again, huge, huge shout out to Brian Thompson at Windsor Central School District for making our team aware of this. Brian, I can't thank you enough. Everyone's going to be thrilled. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Kudos to Pear Deck. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And as always, you're welcome to subscribe to this channel to get updates and notifications when new content like this video is posted. And as always, thank you for watching.